Alan Shulman is hooking a big fish. Alan is the chief creative officer for You Dig, You Dig. Uh, that's You Digital Innovations. Innovations Group. And they have huge clients, huge brands that they do all of the content for. Alan is on the advisory board, the agency advisory board for DIPA, Digital Place Based Advertising Association, used to be OVAB, and that's where we are with their conference. Thanks for sitting down. I'm going to ask you some questions. Fire away. Uh, you obviously are a big believer in content. What do you say to somebody that says, hey, all I, all I need is to deploy enough screens, to aggregate enough eyeballs, and that's all I care about. I can use anything on the screen. I don't care about content. Well, I think that, you know, if impressions are all you're concerned with, that's the entrenched model we've been living in for too many years. So I think that as we move forward to moving from pure impressions to experiences that really want to engage people and get them to spend time with brands, you better start caring about the content that you're aligning your brand with and not just where you're going to slap your logo. I get you. And you know, that really is what it is. It's, it's putting up the logo. It used to be a signage industry. You know, they hung signs. And now it's called digital signage. Maybe these guys should have thought of a better name. You're a creative guy. How come we're still calling it digital signage? How come we started calling it digital signage? Well, I think that the way this medium evolved and was bought uh, was parked in certain places where old language was more relevant than where, what we're living in now, which is a digital age. You know, when I started my first network in veterinary offices, we called it place-based media. Mm -hmm. uh, I liked place-based media. Mm -hmm. We even started calling it captive audience up until people started carrying these smartphones around. Not that captive anymore. Which reminds me, okay, you're a creative guy. You're going to do, you're going to produce content. And you've got, a, you've got two missions. First, by engaging the viewer, but mm -hmm. the engagement of the viewer has to be compelling enough to keep them off the little screen and focused on your screen, I'm guessing. And two, it's got to be auditable or, or um, serve or somehow somebody has to report that they really did focus on or were engaged. Do you have any rules or regs or do you just fly by the seat of your pants when it comes to developing that content? My, my focus is on the consumer. My focus is not on how, you know, whoever, want method, what methodology of measurement somebody wants to apply. If it's a one-way screen platform, I've got to make sure that whatever messaging I put on that has some reward in it for the viewer for spending time watching that message. It's not different from the principle of making you laugh at the end of a commercial. But if it's a one-way screen environment, yeah. I better do something compelling from a content standpoint that's going to get people some reward for standing there and watching. On the other hand, hopefully, it's a two-way screen environment where I can use my smartphone, I can use something that I'm already carrying on my <laughs> yep. body yep. to interact with that messaging. Yep. After all, if it's digital, it should be interactive. It shouldn't just be another channel to deliver a bigger screen or a smaller screen or a different place to deliver a message, although targeting is certainly a benefit for more and more advertisers in the age of fragmentation. But from a creative standpoint, if it's a one-way screen, it better be good content. If it's hopefully a two-way screen, then we have an opportunity to build a much more immersive and interactive experience. As I say, selecting your content partner, your content. You know, I think that all of us as network operators, we think we're content guys. We think we're producers. Probably we all think we're technology guys too. But I talk about when you select your content development partner, it's as important as selecting your software deployment partner, selecting your screen partner. And I think that that's the part that many network operators just kind of fall aside from. They don't, they're not thinking about how important that content side is. Just what you said, where you're thinking about the interactivity, whether or not it's two-way, as far as a touch screen is concerned, it can be two-way by using other technologies. And I think about it, we do that. We do that, text this number at the end of a commercial for mm -hmm. information. Well, look, numbers of screens isn't the game. It was the game when it was a reach game. 
but numbers of screens and aggregating numbers of screens might appear to be the game for old-fashioned advertisers who are just looking for reach in more places. Mm -hmm. That's not what's compelling to the consumer, however. Right? What's compelling to the consumer is to have an experience like walking into American Eagle in Times Square and getting my 15 seconds of fame on a billboard where I can you know, get a picture of myself shot with my friends, see it on a billboard in Times Square, and take that experience that's away with that's me. Cool. Hey, that's why I say content is it. I actually say content is king, but people are getting bored with that. Alan, we got to get you back here. You got a lot of stuff to talk about. And we got a lot of viewers that want to hear you. All right. Thanks for your time. Thank you, Phil. I'll see you. No, you'll see me next week going on content. Thanks for stopping by.